Part One White Clouds Lone Moon To War Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. She plotted with ill-meaning strangers to achieve her own ambitions and defiled the Holy Tomb. If that is not wicked, what is? Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven, nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrig Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlan. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know. I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our Creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother! I will do my part as well! Flame! Were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Seteth. And you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. Listen up, everyone! The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Well, hurry up. 
I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. You know well how extraordinary she is. Of course we know, but we can't let her get away. Also, please cease your unwarranted glaring. We don't deserve your judgment. My father was removed from his role as Prime Minister, and is still under house arrest in the Imperial capital. As his successor, it is my duty to stop her. The way she's going about all of this is wrong. It's up to us to help her realize that. I won't be following her, but I won't run away either. Aidy's going to come at us with all she's got, and that's a lot. That means we need to fight her with all of our might, too. She is one who has strength. That has certainty. But we have strength also. We will not be losing. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. <laughs> you students really have guts, don't you? Though I suppose I can't call you students anymore. You're now part of our order. You have our support and our gratitude. Professor, I'm counting on you. Go ahead and take the lead. These kids, they look up to you. I guess that goes without saying. Just look in their eyes and you can see it. If we all make it through this, let's meet again. Good luck out there!
I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. Knights, soldiers, students, defend the front line and the Archbishop with your lives until help arrives. Reinforcements are on the way. Hold fast. Stay focused. You fought well. The sun. May my foes someday forgive me. Let us away. Thank you. Each battle, a chance to grow. Yep. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Only a fool challenges me. To work. Sure thing. Silenced. Ready and able. I'm good now. Let me at him. Fresh out of luck. Guide me well. I won't allow it. Another one down. I'll grow as strong as I can. Are we done?
Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. That won't do. The strongholds to the east and west are our rally points for reinforcements. Retake them at once. step forward. Even I have bad days. getting stronger. My understanding has completion. Should I have held back? That is that. It is decided.
Baby steps, I guess. All right, that's one stronghold recaptured. Now the other. Defeat me, left.
I sped a weakling to their demise. Is such a small change truly an improvement? No choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. Shut it out! It's over. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm loath to say it, but I must retreat. My presence is clearly not necessary. Stronger than I look, yeah? Just so sorry. Lament your weakness.
wish out of luck. Yeah. Adorable. Smile for me. Oh. <laughs> Who is next? My life was changed forever by Her Majesty. Now, I lay it on the line. For the Empire!
a shame. There are people in the Empire you truly care about too, aren't there? I wonder what will become of them. <laughs> Afford to fall back. We still have the advantage. That's both strongholds. It appears we were right on time. My foes someday forgive me. So, House Nouvelle has chosen the path that will lead to its ultimate demise. How pitiable. As you say, I have forfeited my claim on being a noble of the Empire. That is why you must permit me to challenge you in combat, that I may establish a new House Nouvelle. As you wish. Let's see if your resolve is a match for my own. to regret raising your blade against the Emperor of the Adrestian Empire. You fought well, but now your fight is over. Send in our reserve troops and give my uncle the signal. What is this?
Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. <sighs> no. I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. going on? In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hersfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fogland has begun. <laughs>